welcome back to the channel and today um today i don't really have a topic to talk about except um i just kind of want to introduce myself because i feel like that's something a lot of youtubers are skipping out on doing especially if they've come from tiktok not everybody has t had tiktok guys like seriously so I feel like I, I should introduce myself to my subscribers. <clears throat> so hi, uh, my name is Mackenzie, I'm 14, uh, from the United States, as you can probably tell if you aren't from the Midwest, Midwesterners tend to have like this accent. We say oak a lot too. Um, I will be going into freshman year once school starts again. Uh, <clears throat> I'm a proud Ohioan. I am currently taking French. It's my second language of choice, so... Sorry to all you Spanish speakers out there. It, my language of choice was French for a reason. That was because the French teacher at my old school was literally the nicest person. Shout out to her. But, uh. Originally, what I wanted to do as a career path was to be a doctor. Now that's kind of changed, and I kind of wanted to go more into digital art, because, uh, I think digital art is, like, cool and a great opportunity to, to express myself without having to spend a lot of money. I mean, I got this one for free from my mom, so... Yeah, um, another thing I think, think digital art is absolutely great for is, uh, have your friends ever tried to get you to play that game where, uh, they would send you a photo, and you'd have to draw or write something over it, and they'd add on, and whoever got the funniest out of that photo won that round? No, just my friends uh, okay so it's also great for that because I can beat my friends easily in that game and uh, my favorite thing to draw is either rockers the outsiders cast or guys with long hair because the uh, I don't like drawing those typical Pinterest girls. To me, they're just so, like, basic, you know? I can't draw ties for the life of me, as you can probably see right now. If someone was willing to help me with that, that that'd be grand. I know it's kind of like a triangle with a rounded shape at the bottom. Like that. But anyway, I'm not here to uh, explain what I'm doing with my own. Uh, kind of just here to introduce myself. Um, I get most of my reference photos off of Pinterest. I lose reference photos easily because I don't save them under a special folder like most digital artists. 
or artists in general do. Uh, the way I choose stuff is with the selection tool outside of the selection area that I need, so that's an interesting fact. Um, <clears throat> I'd say my favorite thing about my art style is the way I draw noses, cause like, yeah, like who wouldn't want a cutesy little button nose like that? All my custom brushes are the brushes I use per illustration. Like, I do not feel an illustration is complete unless I get to use all these brushes. I dye my hair a lot, <laughs> so that's that. Um. There isn't really a lot to me. Now that I think about it, like... Something I would change about myself, though, is, uh, that I fear a lot, like, I let my fear control me most of the time, I cannot watch horror movies, I cannot do a bunch of stuff, because I let my fear control me instead of my brain, like, I know this stuff isn't scary, per se. It's just that if my brain doesn't want me to do it, or, or my fear, fight or, f fight or flight sense that controls my fear, if it doesn't want me to do something, I will not do it. another interesting thing about me. Oh yeah, I drew a uh, Steve Randall from the outside in a dress before. Steve would have killed me if he saw it. If he were real. Uh, um. My favorite color is probably like either black or this really vibrant red that this dude that um this guy dyed his hair because uh actually i might like make that a little less vibrant because it kind of hurts my eyes but still you get just like vibrant reds like those are my favorite colors uh i'm indecisive as heck so i am that one person in the friend group that like if you ask me what I want for lunch, we'll be halfway on our way to Chipotle before I decide I really want Burger King. Um, yeah, I'm that person in the friend group. I made most of my friends in middle school because I was kind of like a loner in elementary, you know? Like, I would have rather sat alone than sat with other people because other people to me just weren't friendly. Like, they weren't that inviting, especially where I come from. Other kids are not that inviting. Um... Just saying medical facts about me. Uh, I was born a week late. So my birthday is the 23rd of May instead of whatever date I was supposed to be born. Um, my favorite subject to draw is definitely, uh, Patrick Swayze. Because he's, like, my favorite actor of all time. Um. 
Um, I'd say uh, my parents are probably my biggest role models when it comes to uh, life. Not life decision, but just life in general. Like, you know, my parents are my rocks. Like, if I want to buy like a fifty dollar, whatever, I have to ask myself. Would I really need this? Would my mom be proud of me for having it? Like, I feel like that's a question a lot of people gotta ask themselves. Or it might just be me. I've never seen people do backgrounds the way I do them before me. But I've used people, I've seen people use the same color combinations. I am a strong believer in uh, art style theft is not real. And the reason is, well, because if you think about it, nobody can really steal your art style unless they're drawing with the exact same tool, the exact same program, the exact same, well, not program, the exact same technique. In the exact same style, using the exact same brushes you did, like, that would be art style theft. Art style theft is not, oh, this person used this tool, so they're obviously copying me. No, that, that's not how that works. <laughs> My favorite way to do a background is, of course, my way of doing backgrounds, which is the way I'm doing it right now, because it's something I just, I guess, learned how to do over time. I experimented with it for a while, and then I was like, okay, this is perfect. So how I do backgrounds, I believe, is originally my own. I don't want that blended. Um, that's another fact about myself. I cannot concentrate on stuff unless it is at the foreground of my mind. Like, here's what I mean, like, what I'm drawing now, the, the times, the times I go quiet is the times I'm focusing, because, like, yeah, I, I kind of have to focus in order to, like, make sure I'm doing stuff right. My favorite thing about the program I use, Ibis Paint X, is probably the <laughs> clipping tool when it comes to, um making new layers and stuff because it's really a lifesaver. Um, um, Now, this is going to get me a lot of flack, but I'm also, like, 
I believe that people should be held accountable for whatever their actions are. Like, if there is proof that your fave or whatever did something that most people shouldn't, they should be held accountable for their actions. They shouldn't just expect their white knights to, like, protect them. I'm a firm believer in that white knights are in the wrong when it comes to this stuff. Oh my god, will you just shut up, Dorian, so I can record? Jeez. Sorry that the my cousin's like a little slow on the head. Um I think I'm gonna give this dude an eyebrow piercing. I don't know why, but he just looks like he suits it. Okay, that's better. I'm seriously considering going out there and smacking up upside my upside the head so my grandpa would shut up so I can continue doing this. But you know I won't do it this time. The next offense I might though. Um, yeah, another thing about me is I cannot leave any job uncompleted. Like, if I have work to do and it's left uncompleted, I will literally, like, will go crazy because it's, like, killing me because it's uncompleted. I'm gonna really quickly give this dude an eyebrow piercing. I think over this eyebrow. I think that should work. Um, my favorite band of all time, depending on the specific genre of metal I'm listening to, will range from Cannibal Corpse to, you know, other stuff. Other more obscure, more obscure things. I'm a very reactionary person, that is just part of my personality. I think that 
eyebrow piercing salon set. Um, is there another thing? Um, when someone says something blatantly wrong in an argument, I will go out of my way to correct them. Because I know I'm right. Like, if they say, no, the correct form of there is T-H-E-I-R when talking about they are. Bro, it's, it's, it's literally in the contraction's name. Don't even talk to me if you don't know that. I recently only started blurring my highlights and shadows. So it looks better. I forgot to add the shadows on the clothing. I always forget to do at least one thing in each drawing and don't realize it till I'm already on the next like, layer. Guess that's something interesting about me. Mm. After that's done, I have to reselect the end, the entire area. I forgot to shade and put shadow on, just so I can put shadow on it. I'm guessing my guilty pleasure pop song is I don't have one because I think pop music sucks and uh, yeah this is a little bit about me enjoy the rest of my drawing until my screen recorder runs out of time Also, something very unique about my drawing process is highlight with the contrasting shade of the same color you're using. Like this brown is a shade of yellow, which is skin tone it's a shade of. It always appears to be like more of a like more natural highlight instead of applying 
directly white into the into the highlight area. Oh yeah, the finished uh, product will be up on my Instagram, or my art Instagram, at Old Time Rock and Roll, after we're done here, so yeah.